Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing categorical data. This is standard 6.12d in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8 off the 2021 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple bar graph here. And one thing we need to keep in mind is we've uh, got the number of customers here in our bar graph. That is our y-axis right here. But each customer only bought one flavor of gum. Because in a real world situation, someone could come in and buy spearmint and peppermint. But our questions here are the number of customers. And so we need to make sure we understand that one customer is not buying three different types of gum. So Let's put some numbers here. So spearmint is going to be 50. Peppermint's going to be 20. We've got 30 for watermelon, and we've got 20 here for cinnamon. So nothing really fancy there. What we need to do is we need to find the statement that is not, all right, not supported by the data. So three of these are going to be correct. We're looking for the one that is incorrect. So the same number of customers bought peppermint as the number of customers who bought cinnamon. Well, that's pretty easy. Not only do the bars visually look the same, we've already put numbers there. They're both 20. So yeah, that is correct, which means we're not looking for that answer. We're looking for the one that is incorrect. G. The mode flavor is watermelon. Now, this might seem a little bit strange because we don't really talk about the mode flavor. Uh, and typically when we see the mode, it's just pure numbers. It's not in a bar graph. But remember, our mode is going to be the, the most popular. It's going to be the highest number, the one that's chosen the most. So if that's the case... I don't think it's watermelon. Look at our watermelon here is 30, but just visually it's obviously able to see that our spearmint here looks like this might be the mode. So I'm thinking G might be our answer simply because it does not look like it's correct. But as always, let's check H and J. There were 120 customers who bought gum yesterday. All right, so now we have to do a little bit of math, but we already did all the numbers. So I've got 50, I've got 20, I've got 30, and I've got another 20. Let's add those up. So let's see, that's 5, 7, 10, 12, 120. All right. So yes, we are looking good here. That is correct, which means we don't want it. Because remember, we're looking for the one that is not correct. So now let's just eliminate J. And then we can go back and say G is our correct answer. There were 2.5 two times as many customers who bought spearmint as who bought peppermint. Now, that is an interesting one. All right. So 2.5 times as many customers bought spearmint. So let's do our spearmint. I'm just going to say spearmint is, they say, 2.5 times... The number of customers who bought peppermint. All right, I'm just going to put pepper. So if I take my peppermint, multiply it by 2.5, I should get, get my spearmint. So my spearmint is 50, and that should be 2.5 times my peppermint, which is 20. At least that's what this J is saying. So let's just multiply. Let's just multiply 2.5 times my 20. I'm just going to ignore the decimal right now, so that's going to be 0, 0. That's easy. 2 times 5 is going to be 10. 2 times 2 is 4. Add that 1. It's 5. Now I've got one digit behind the decimal in my factor. So I need to have one digit behind the decimal in my product. So it is 50. So I've got 50 equals 50, or 50.0, which is the same. So J is correct. There were 2.5 times. As many customers who bought spearmint as bought peppermint, which means I don't want it. My answer here is going to be G. The mode flavor is watermelon. 